One of the major practices that we have in the uh, Chinese uh, Kung Fu class are drills and exercises. We have leg drills, we have blocking drills, and we have punching drills. Now, these exercises are actually f uh, northern Shaolin training drills. And the purpose of the drills are to teach prerequisite skills necessary to then access the rest of the art in terms of the forms, you know, the hand forms, the weapon forms, and the animal forms. Now, forms tend to do a move once, and then you go into the next move, and the next move, and the next move. They don't, per se, cultivate deep levels of skill that only happen when a movement is repeated in a rhythmic way over and over and over. Now, if we did not have training drills, then we'd have to take the forms and take one move and just do it over and over and over. And that's possible. We do that sometimes. Uh, we particularly do that in our Tai Chi classes, by the way. But in Kung Fu, they have structured it in such a way through these leg drills, blocking drills, and punching drills that the energetic memory and signature and actual level of vibration, energetic vibration, is cultivated through the practice, the repetitive practice of a move over and over and over. That creates a vibration, an energetic vibration. And that energetic vibration becomes the signature pattern of information and energy that is necessary to do more advanced training, such as the hand forms, weapon forms, or animal forms correctly. Uh, they literally create a, an internal resonance uh, in the body and a, and a cellular memory that then can be accessed automatically without thought and plugged into the rest of the system at higher and higher levels. And so a person who doesn't have good fundamentals, good basics, which comes from legwork, standing in the stances, it comes from practicing uh, movement, uh, and breathing through things like qigong and what we call silk weavers exercise, kind of, again, a moving breathing exercise, and through practicing the specific qigong for that art. You know, every Chinese art and style has its own unique form of qigong breathing exercises. And the reason for that is because every art, the physical movement of every art requires a particular type of energetic setup inside the cellular structure of the body in order to access the energetic curve, the feeling of how that particular art or style moves. And without all of the preparation, without all those fundamentals, it would be like trying to get into a car and drive it and you never took any lessons. <laughs> Or, and the car had no gasoline in it. It had no oil in it. You know, we need lessons, we need oil, we need gasoline. <laughs> the equivalent of that in our structure and in our mind and nervous systems in order to access the vehicle that the rest of Kung Fu and Tai Chi represents. You can't just get in the car and drive. There's preparation required. Thank you.